Howdy folks, my name is Damon from RC Scam Models and today I have another kit. This one's from Edward. This is their uh, limited edition, one of their Tornado uh, limited edition versions. It's been released several times, as we know, for the Tornado. Uh, so they've done it again. So this is the German version with the German markings. Um, Germans like to paint up their aircraft in fancy schemes, so this is one of those cases. Um, so this is the Tornado ECR. If I'm not mistaken, ECR stands for Electronic Combat Reconnaissance, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, this side of the box. So these are some of the fancy schemes. We have this nice blue one, uh, July 2008. We have a Tiger Meat for 2013. We have a standard paint scheme from the Germans, uh, 1993, which is a standard greens. We have a low-vis marking with with a tiger marking on it, which is 19, uh, 2017. We have uh, this tiger meat marking again in snow camo uh, or snow, snow tiger, which is the uh, black and white, which is uh, 2013. So they're the five schemes, which, as I say, 148. Kit number 11154. It's a standard top opening box. As for what we get inside, is the Ravel kit. Um, anyone that's built a Ravel kit, you know exactly what we're in for. As I say, Eddard released this kit multiple times, so we will check that out separately. Um, the main details with this kit is the markings and the extras. And one of the markings, they give you this fancy stencil, which is on this sheet, which is for one of the markings, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Nice fellow itch. Tons of resin, so we've got seats and wheels and all kind of other stuff. And then we have two giant sheets of decals for one of the tiger markings. This is for the uh, snow one, which is NATO. Uh, I believe it's an anniversary for the NATO as well. I'm not 100% sure. It is the uh, anniversary edition of. Um, So the blue scheme is for the 50th anniversary of the United Forces, so I also imagine that's UN, but I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that, if anyone actually 100% knows, uh, I will be interested, but let's take a closer look anyway. So here's the booklet, we're going to go through this quickly and go through the kit roughly. As I say, if you know what the Tornado is like and you know if it builds up nicely from Ravel, you probably know what the Tornado is. Um, so as they do there straight off the bat, um, everything within the kit, everything in blue, it's parts not needed, which is pretty standard for the uh, Tornado because there's different variants out there from Ravel. It's probably the best in scale in 148 and probably the best one out there. Um, so also you get your photo etch, like we mentioned, resin and stuff like that. And we get this giant mask for one of the schemes, which is to do with mask um, scheme. Marking A and marking B version, which we'll get into in a minute. Color call that's down the bottom is what they call that for Mr. Hobby Colors. Tons of colors. So just make sure you've got all your colours correctly especially for this one because it's going to require certain blues and stuff especially for the blue one probably colour mixes I don't know we'll get closer into that first step we're working on this gorgeous ejector seat so there is two of them we do have a pilot and a wizzo um, which is in this bag we do have the ejector seats so we'll take a closer look at that in a minute so the seat is pretty much molded as one part apart from the cushions you've got your fellow edge seat belts to go in which again which is done in this nice photo itch so it should go down nicely should make a nice couple of ejector seats this is the part of the cockpit uh, internal part and then we have the wheel well as well being attached underneath it's a cockpit tub anything in red is going to be removed and replaced with photo itch if you want to do it that way but again with these type of kits um, if you're not a fan of photo etch I wouldn't really re buy these kits if you're not going to use the photo etch it's designed for people that are going to do all out kind of thing so uh, any so to say anything in red replaced with photo etch we have the back plate for 
one of the uh, seats to go up against. We do have a couple of painting as we go along, so it's calling out for um, green segments and uh, medium grey for the cockpit tub. We have the uh, flight controls, which would be the throttle, I imagine, on the Tornado. These are the pedals. Again, I wouldn't worry about the pedals being replaced in Fado because you're never going to see them because they're tucked away. But they are optional as you go through. Attaching the seats inside the cockpit. Um, I don't know if you'd want to do that just yet. We have this rail piece just goes behind the pilot's seat. And this is the extra flight stick that the Wizzo has. Con more controls. Uh, first instrument panel. This mm, I believe is the cockpit for instrument binnacle for the pilot. Again, it's all going to be replaced with Fado Etch and make it nicely, nicely detailed. The Wizzo's instrument panel again gets replaced with Fado Etch. And then working on this section of the Tornado is the intakes. Goes together nicely. We have the first turbines and whatever. Uh, the upper section of the uh, intakes go together. And then the cockpit can be attached. And then your side walls can be sandwiched, sandwiched together to make the whole thing to go together. Turn it over. We have this piece here, which is right and left segments. These could be the imports for the guns or cannons. I'm not sure on that. It says fill as well, so I'm not 100% sure what they mean by that. Do they mean you have to fill it? But that doesn't make sense if you do. The side of the uh, aircraft, which would be the part of the fuselage. Um, and then we have more detailed parts. This looks like part of the uh, structural part of the intake. And then we have the foldable wing assembly, so we have plugs and lights sections going in together and we have these sections of the tornado going with this brace in for the actual wing movement um, and then repeating the process on the other side we have these leading edge flaps is going to be in down let's imagine you can have it poseable it says do not glue the leading edge flaps um, and then we have these cutout sections are for what variant you're doing, are you having it swept back or none? So, so, so imagine you can have to pick or choose at this stage right now, otherwise you can completely get it wrong. These are those intake cutouts for the wings. We have the back plate and part of the spine. This section I'm not sure. These are part of the intakes and this has some numbers on the side. The upper part of the fuselage can go in and, and then cover up the uh, mechanism for the wings. Then we have the uh, top parts to cover the uh, top part of the wing, which is part of the mechanism, which um, I believe have mockings on them to do the uh, angle of the wings as well. Back of the aircraft, we have this part of the uh, engine section. This piece is part of the engine. These are the kind of part of the engine as well. Burner cans and fado etch parts for the uh, um, after burner wings I believe and then the actual cans itself nozzles. This part is to do with the tail which sits inside the tail is, is probably the electronic part. The actual tail itself nose cone going in um, do not forget to add nose weight however it says that but it doesn't tell you how much so try and pack as much as you can into the nose and then we have this lower section which is here for the tail we have the uh, rudder to make up the tail section some lights this piece on the back, touching the tail and fins, a couple of lumps and bumps, and then the other wing flap, and repeating the process on the other side. These are the leading edge flaps. Repeating the other process on the other side. And then 
we have the air brake open or closed option and then we have this section for the covers that fold up against the uh, engines when it comes into land and stuff I'm not 100% sure what they're for it could be to break in as well then we have the covers around by the engines these are your hard point sections attaching those to the wings and then your landing gear is pretty standard uh, tricycle landing gear so it's going to be one wheel at the front and then two at the back uh, these are the ones at the back and the wheel wells and the lights these are the uh, landing gear struts landing gear doors and then repeating the process on the other side attaching your nice gorgeous uh, resin wheels or resin uh, they, they pronounce that uh, we have this box being replaced with Fado Etch looks like some electronic box and where's that sitting that sits in in the middle of the cockpit so these look like some more screens of some sort probably to do with the Wizzo and so is this one windshield going in now the front front canopy part a resto hook um, we have this section here is to do with the uh, canopy rails so this section you want to leave complete if the canopy is open if you're having the canopy closed you're going to have to cut these segments off the end these are the rails attaching the canopy on top this is the uh, inside the canopy got a couple of photo etch mirrors to attach again open or closed canopy which is this section here underside we've got some resin parts some more stuff on the outside fine detail parts this section here I look like more structural we should find out nope they are this section this looks like another hard point so is this is another hard point for weapons or possibly to carry the fuel tank this is the fuel tank here um, a couple of photo etch parts on there we have these segments here these could be some weapons I'm not sure what that is I'm not sure what this type of weapon system is we have rockets are being attached and the colour callouts for those so we have rockets, fuel tanks and this funny looking missile rocket type thing anyone knows what this is uh, which is this one here feel free to tell me because I don't know what it is canopy mask and layout however you want to use your canopy mask and then we go straight in this section here is all your stencil data and optional optional parts so you've got different stencils going in different places stencil data on your fuel tanks and missiles stencil data on the side of the aircraft and lower and upper top of the aircraft where the stencil data goes so you want to paint all of this first and then put the stencil data on top of that you don't want it on, on the bottom first scheme here so we have this at um, July 2018 uh, nice beautiful scheme in blue um, so like I say somewhere along the line somewhere or some parts of these you will need to do the um, pattern I imagine it does call out for pattern A and B um, I'm just trying to work out yeah so okay everything is in A is going to be for the A scheme and in B that's, that's explanatory um, and then it this corresponds to what's on this sheet here somewhere it is die cut which is a nice touch that's one here is for your um, rest of your aircraft for your canopy and whatever um, so yeah so the color call outs are pretty standard down here the uh, blue is already pre-done for Mr Hobby so I would recommend using their colors because it's going to be probably the closest match for it um, without any requiring any mixes so it's a nice dark blue on the bottom and this lighter blue on top the Germans do like making their fancy schemes for uh, air shows and etc uh, June 2001 again nice fancy scheme low vis but tiger meat on top of it again this is for B again 
and here this section of the lower mask is going to be for your bee to make this pattern um, I imagine that is for the yellow and then the rest of it I believe on the decals is to do the top part um, so this white segment and the black is this section here to do that scheme um, and then the rest of it down the, the, down the spine looks like this as well this one this section here is this section here so these parts of this uh, the side here pretty cool the other scheme is the standard uh, German I suppose German normal Air Force colours which is the greens we have dark green olive green um, and black low vis marking in the in the grey which has a little bit of a uh, tiger or is it a leopard on the back actually it probably is a tiger pretty nice and then we have this nice white one as well markings pretty cool again all of this you're going to paint white and then all this tiger stripes is all of this section and so this giant tiger emblem is here so it's broken up to several parts um, and then obviously the two flags is on there must be another sheet in the middle because I can't see it so we'll take a closer look at that in a minute there must be three sheets in total and then on the back you do get some optional uh, resin parts too if you want to upgrade it even more and they're all, they're all the codes so you can call it up on the uh, website and whatever so I do apologize this probably will be a little bit lengthy video more than I wanted it to be again this is going to be a die cut masks for the aircraft this part so your fellow which is pretty standard stuff but it is nicely done And then we have this bag of resin. So we have two bags. So we have two main wheels, two small wheels, inserts. This looks like part of the cockpit possibly. We have these leading edge parts, your two nice gorgeous seats. The seat cushions and then we have the uh, jet to handles and stuff like that so here are the um, nice seats so let's move this other way come on focus so we have this nice nice wheel Pretty good detail it has, um, Continental I believe on there, is that Continental, no sorry that says Goodyear, my mistake, but they are nicely done, nice tread, so we do have the inserts for that, which will be on this one, so here's the insert for it, which is to do with the brake assembly, so again you just have to be careful how you cut them off, the smaller wheels, Again, nicely done. It's going to have the Continental, I'm sorry, Goodyear on there. Same kind of tread pattern. As for the Jetta seats, very cool. Very nice. Definitely going to enhance the cockpit. As for the cushions, or a cushion to go on the seat, pretty standard stuff. Probably get done in like a olive green colour. The cushions. 
We have this smaller piece which sits on the side of the aircraft, if I remember correctly. And then we have these smaller parts. Some kind of hosing. I'm not familiar where these go in. Must be on a jet to seat somewhere. There are two of those. And then we have these detail parts as well. Jet to handles. And a couple of more hoses. So we go through these markings quickly. Is there hopefully hopefully it's not their new style but it's probably gonna be. <clears throat> you can smell it. It's got a nice smell to it, you can tell they're fresh. So we have this ginormous marking sheet. So get some, some some of this glare off. Pretty cool. So this is, has tons of stencil data, and then we have these gorgeous markings. This is for the um, normal tiger scheme, not the white one. Which you can have to paint the orange underneath and then this goes on top of it. I do have optional uh, decals for the cockpit area if you don't want to use Fellow Etch. But again, it's one of those kits. If you're not going to use Fellow Etch, I wouldn't really buy this kit if you're not going to use it. Walkways, tons of stencils. So there are three giant sheets. We have this giant sheet as well. So we have the, another one for the. This is for the snow camo tiger marking one. So you're going to paint it white, and then this goes over the top of it. And then this side, I believe, is all going to be for the blue one. Um, it is nice and crisp and clean and, and clear, but again, it's Ed, Edward with their Cara film. It just it over overdoes it, it's right thick over the edge um, so I don't know but they are nicely printed though and they are nicely in colour and sharp and very good markings and then the last set is for this will be for the snow one as well. Some more tiger stripes and stuff. And there are those flags that sit on the wings. Pretty cool. And it has the 51, this is the NATO. I imagine some of them are anniversary markings for NATO, I believe. So would it be 51 years for NATO? But pretty cool. So in these giant bags, as I say, is the Ravel kit. We're going to quickly go through this. Um, and if no one's interested, then obviously uh, you can finish the video here. But as I say, I'm just going to go through this quickly most people have probably seen the Revell kit and they built it tons of times and it, nothing changes so so we have these tons of parts for the Revell kit uh, so we have all the fuel tanks detail parts and the fins the hard points for it these are parts of your burner engines and the uh, burner cans. So again, this is being replaced with Fellow Etch. We've got wheels, which would be a two-piece, but again, 
they're being replaced with further which but it is nicely done though it is still one of the best out there nice one piece missile and sadly the fuel tank is two piece but it's not too bad we have this funny looking half of that missile and um, there is two of these because the other side is here we have two of these as well which are going to be small detail parts so we have the smaller wheels parts you adapt to seat again this is being replaced cushions we won't need we have these segments uh, for the part of the engine for those covers that cover the engine pretty cool and fortunately as well the cushions have got seat belts molded in so a definitely uh, worthy upgrade for the resin here is your clear pretty standard stuff for Ravel canopies um, that is not a seam line that is meant to be there within the canopy this has a deck cord in their canopy uh, the front glass shield canopy part very nicely done and what I do like is it's not right up against the, the edge of the canopy they have a, a giant large amount of framing so when it comes to gluing it on it's not going to mess it up and it's going to be easier to mask up and paint and we have all the smaller parts which are your lights and pretty standard stuff just going to pop this back in the bag just so it doesn't get messed up In this small bag we have one of those electronic pods type thing I'm not 100% sure what these are for is it a sniper pod I don't know anyone knows feel free to tell me because I don't know what these parts are so these parts are nose cone and wings flaps and that kind of thing by looks of things So we have hard points and here's more hard points two pieces that are going to be together these are going to be together and these are together this is pretty standard these parts to go together and that make up the center part for your tail electronics go in there which is pretty cool we have this section here which has your nose cone which is pretty much almost going to come off so I might as well take this off now so there's your nose cone and it's going to have the uh, pitot tube in the middle wings again two piece so they're going to have to be glued together we have got some ejector pins you may have to take care of because they are quite raised so just a little bit of sand back just to make sure these wings sit nicely again very nice detail I don't know how well you can see that on camera I'll try and get it to show you pretty cool very nicely done we have this small piece a couple of hard points nope sorry these are not hard points these are the covers which has the markings on there for to do the angle of swept wing and then a couple of lumps and bumps on the bottom of the aircraft I believe these are here's part of the spine and here's part of the top section of your intakes very nicely done and a couple of lumps and bumps as well on that one so here's the bottom of the aircraft sides of the cockpit fuselage these are parts of your engine section so is this a couple of more hard points and then this is a extra fuel tank small one and then the fins so again it's the amount of times this kit's been pressed out it still has a nice crisp molding 
and in this kit been done in number of, of variants from Eddard, even Ravel, obviously because they're the ones that make the kit. Even they've stamped it out loads and loads of times. So this this kit's not in short demand at all. It's, there's loads of it out there. But again, this is one of their Eddard versions that they've decided to release with their gorgeous markings. Unfortunately, their decals can be a bit iffy. People are saying, but they they do like their fancy schemes, and it goes fit in with the Germans as well because they like painting up their fancy aircraft so it's just going to work wonders but the kit itself as I mentioned before I don't think you're really going to get a better tornado at their 9148 have a piece come off which I don't think is to do with the kit. But as I say, because it's always packed in multiple bags, just be careful. Large sprue here, this is your main wings. It's got your folding wing me mechanism. These are separate pieces, they're two halves, which are going to go together. This part of your intake assembly. This is part of your wheel well, maybe. I'm not sure on that. This is the Wizzo's cockpit area. Again, you're going to have to sand this back and replace it with Valoetch bulkhead, cockpit tub, you're going to have to sand some of this detail back. Um, if there's a Quintus Studio out kit for this, out for this sorry, this will, that will go down gorgeous, even better than the, the Eddard Factor Witch, that would even be better for this. Um, and the side parts of the cockpit, again it's just that gorgeous detail. We have a, a, a nasty bit of flash there. That can be taken care of quickly. It's the first piece of flash that I've seen on this kit. So I can easily sand that back for that, get takes care of that part. So we have this lovely detail on the wings as well. So this would be my sixth tornado from Ravel. I have three from Eddard in their versions, and I have three from Ravel itself. I have the uh, farewell edition and farewell edition from Eddard. Their standard um, um, what is it? The um, the other version. Can't think right now what the other version is. But again, the kits are all pretty much the same. They've got different parts in there just to make up the versions that it requires. Um, so we have this nice tail section. It's nicely done. A couple of vortex on the sides. These are parts of your engine which will be needed. Here's the uh, main cockpit area. Again, you're going to sand it back and replace it with a photo etch. Wheel well segments. This is part of your engine. A couple of points. Flashy bits there, that's easy. Flaps. The tail is two piece. You may want to take this back as well, the Ravel stamp. Because <clears throat> that may inter interfere, I don't know. This is inside the wheel well as well. Um, pretty cool. We have the detail parts on the side here. And last sprue is this segment here. Is the lower section intakes and we have these side parts this is part of your intake as well this section here is to do with your wings your wings are locked into here this is the uh, t-shape for your wing mechanism again you've got the stamp of Ravel that's no problem we don't you don't need that a couple of flashy bits there that's on this sprue itself but again we have this lovely detail Then we have these intake sections. And go along. I have heard there are several parts on this kit you have to be careful of because the fit is not 100% perfect. If you don't get it squared up, it can have a knock on effect. But just take your time with it, and it's going to go on it down nicely. And there's those segments 
for the uh, canopy and these leading edge pieces here don't forget to cut them off if the canopy is closed because it obviously doesn't fit properly but again it's just another beautiful uh, tornado so there you are my friends there's another kit from Edward 148 scale tornado ECR limited edition as we know uh, limited edition doesn't really mean matter about anything these days not from Edward because they've released a tornado multiple times um, so yeah like comment subscribe and I'll catch you later